Now, everybody tells me that if you are a photo editor or a video editor, then you should be Mac. And I always tell them, you are absolutely crazy. You have no idea what you're talking about. A PC can do it just as well. Well, last year I decided to go all in on Mac and see if there was any truth to this. Well, it's one year later and my wife was right. You're Hi, I'm Jared Hoyman and welcome back to the channel where I just geek out on video and photo and obviously in this case, computers. And yes, I am a Mac guy and I need to talk about that because I was a PC guy my entire life. I am in my mid 40s. I know I look pretty good for my age. I'm in my mid 40s and all I knew was PC and a lot of people, including my wife, have urged me to try Mac for years. And so with the new M1, M2, and now the M3, I decided, well, you know what? I will give it a shot. So last year I went out and bought the M2 Max. That is a 12 core CPU. It has 38 core GPU and 32 gigabytes of RAM. And the 16 inch is actually pretty nice. Side note, I would recommend the 16 over the 14. Bigger is better. And just so you know where I'm coming from, my PC that I had built that I've been using for the last few years prior to this one was a Ryzen 9, 32 gigabytes, and it had a 12 core, 24 thread CPU. I also ran the RTX 3080 and it was good. I loved it. I'm not a gamer on a PC, but it was excellent when it came to video editing. Now that being said, it did have its struggles. It was a Ryzen 9, which was amazing. The 12 core, 24 thread, and the 32 gigabytes was enough, especially with the 3080. But it had its struggles when it went through DaVinci Resolve or even Premiere Pro when it came to H.265. Now, if you're a Canon shooter like me and you're shooting in the 10-bit C-Log3, that's kind of the issue that we have. So when I got my 16 inch MacBook Pro M2 Max all souped up and ready to go, I installed DaVinci Resolve and to my surprise, it ran like butter. I, I don't even know if that's a thing, but it it cut like butter. It moved like butter. I don't, I don't know, butter can be slow. It went fast. We'll just say that it went really fast. H.265 on a PC would struggle. You would skip frames, you would miss things. But on a Mac, no frames lost. It's smooth, the fans are not running. I don't even know how to explain it. It is a native codec with the CPU, not only the GPU, it just works amazing. It's like Canon designed the H.265 10-bit to run only on a Mac and perfectly. So if you are a Canon guy, you might want to switch to Mac. My editing experience in DaVinci Resolve from PC to Mac was amazing. Everything was quicker, easier, more efficient, and I just enjoyed the editing experience. It's what it was supposed to be, where PC, it was just very stressful with Mac, it just works. And on that note, if my PC was a laptop with a 3080 on it and I ran it plugged in, it would probably run decent. But if I would unplug that computer, it would actually struggle and the core performance would not be there. That is not how it works with a Mac. A Mac is just as powerful plugged in as it is unplugged and that floored me. And the battery life, the battery life is amazing on a Mac. I can edit in DaVinci Resolve 4K or 6K in 10-bit and do it for several hours and not run out of battery and not have the fans run. It's, it's a new world. It's a new Jack City. So let's talk about the fan noise because with my old PC, the RTX 3080 running, that thing not only heated up this room and just made everything so hot, it was loud. I could not do videos like this without having that ambient sound in the background of the fans running 24 seven. Right now you cannot hear what's going on in this office with the noise because there is none. There is no fan noise at all. Rarely do I even hear the fan kick in. 
it's usually on a very long render at the very end, and even that, the fan is not loud. Now, my whole life, people would say, Jared, Macs just work, PCs don't. And I would say, that sounds really boring to me. I don't like that. I like to fix things. I like to improve things. And I never understood what they meant until now. Now, let me bring you back to PC world because this is really interesting and maybe you can relate. For me, I spent time working on my computer but then I spent almost equal amount of time trying to fix an error or something that was going on and a glitch and maybe even restarting. And I didn't realize this until I switched to Mac that I actually get my work done a lot quicker. You see, my Mac doesn't crash. My Mac doesn't have errors. My Mac doesn't demand a new update all the time. And it just works exactly what they said. It just works, and even though that sounds boring, you can actually do your work and what your computer is designed for. For me as a photographer and a filmmaker, it is designed for those features, and if I'm spending so much time trying to fix it, I am doing less time on those projects. Now I'm finishing these projects a lot sooner, and I can take on more projects or take a break. I could take a vacation now. My Mac has allowed me to take a vacation, and actually that's not even true because my Mac is so good, I brought it on vacation. I can't do that with a PC. I brought my Mac on vacation and I got so much work done, so much editing. I don't even know if I should even be at home anymore. I should probably just be on vacation all the time working. People have told me for the longest time that I should switch to Mac and I just shrugged it off. And when I finally went all in, by the way, go all in. Just like DaVinci Resolve from Premiere Pro, I went all in with my Mac. And what that means is you don't use your PC for at least a week, if not two or three weeks. You go all in and you struggle like there's no tomorrow and you will work your way right through it. And all of a sudden you will forget how to even use a PC and Mac will make more and more sense for you. And that's exactly how I did it with DaVinci Resolve when I left Premiere. I went all in and I could never go back to Premiere Pro after I went in for about two weeks without even touching Premiere. So then I started to rethink everything in my life after I started using the MacBook Pro M2 Max and how wonderful it was. Maybe I'm wrong about Android and iPhone. So what did I do? The end of last year, I ended up buying the iPhone 15 Pro and holy cow, it, the ecosystem, it just works. I said it, it just works. They flow together, AirDrop is amazing if you're not in the Apple ecosystem. MacBook and AirDrop with your iPhone, it just works. I share files with myself all the time and photos and video. It is awesome. I don't think I can ever go back. And for those of you that are Android or even PC or both, I challenge you. You should really check out this ecosystem and you can actually get these computers pretty cheap. Now, I spent about $3,500 on mine, but I think it's gonna last me a few years. And even if it only lasts me two years before I decide to update, that's enough. I got enough out of it already this year to save me a ton of money that the $3,500 was totally worth it. Now, my wife wanted to join the ecosystem after she convinced me to go in. She was not in it before. She was PC and she did not like PC. So it was a lot easier for her. I ended up getting her a MacBook Air and I've never seen her on the computer as much as I see her now. That's a good or bad thing, I'm not sure. But she loves it, it works, it just works. It works for her, it works for me. I am a MacBook snob, I am a Mac, I'm an iPhone, I'm an Apple snob. It's awesome over here. It is not a cult. I mean, it is, it is, but it's a good one. It's a healthy cult, you'll enjoy it. If you're a Mac person, leave a comment below. If you're a PC person, leave a comment below. I wanna know who is on what side because there's only one right side. If you are an iPhone person, but you're a PC and you love your iPhone, then you really, really need to come over to Mac, like today. Go out and buy one.
you won't regret it. The MacBook Air was actually only $7.99 for my wife. Awesome deal out there. You'll love it. If you found any value in this video, hit a thumbs up. And if you haven't already and you like this kind of content, please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. All right, well, that's it. Except for those videos that you're gonna watch because that's why I put them there. I knew you'd like them and now you're gonna watch them. They're awesome.